President of the Democratic Republic of Timor Leste. President of the Republic of Timor Leste, during the Declaration of National Timor Leste, in the debate of the General Assembly of the General Assembly, and in the debate of the General Assembly, Chef Estado Moscou lia makas liu kona ba konflitu ne bia kontese iha mundial. Orta deklara durante Rusia invade Ukraina fomos impactu ba ekonomia mundial, tamba ne konselo siguransa onu precisa buka solusan ba invazaun refere no mos junta militar iha Myanmar ne be ema barak la konvida. Ramjorta kritika lider mundial sira tamba la biban hakotu armamentu nuklear ma ibe aproveita fankilat no armamentu hodi hetan osan. Ukraine and the resulting geopolitical fragmentation have disproportionately impacted the already fragile and conflict-affected countries. They have always felt the brunt of every global crisis. On the other hand, these countries are the least responsible for those crises. The incidents of extreme hunger, poverty, and the humanitarian crisis caused by wars climate change and geoeconomic fragmentation are increasingly concentrated in fragile and the conflict-affected countries. And conflicts pr proliferate and economic and social conditions are worsening in countries around the world. But we seem to have forgotten the children of the tragedies of Myanmar, Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, Palestine, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The growing tensions among regional and global powers are eroding the potential of our collective security institutions at a time when we face existential challenges. We cannot accept the incomprehensible anachronism such as the embargo imposed on the Cuban people or the continuing impasse of the Western Sahara conflict and or the blatant disregard of UN resolutions on the two-state solution for Israel and Palestine. On and off, we hear about the need to reform the UN Security Council. Academics concoct an expanded Security Council, regurgitate ideas for a more representative body reflecting the, today's demographics, which is all in itself an almost surreal task, bearing in mind that leaders up to the present have not ended nuclear arms race remain the biggest armed merchants of death, led in the desecration of Mother Nature, failed to help the poorest out of poverty, have not shown wisdom in writing off the debt incurred by countries of the poorer South, burdens caused by loan sharks from Western commercial banks. Children living in conflict zones continue to come under attack on an alarming scale. Recent years have seen an exacerbation of children's vulnerability to grave violation. In Myanmar, unable to control the ground, the military pursue a scorched earth strategy with widespread use of aircraft, helicopter targeting civilians across the country. Laureado Nobel da Paz ni Hatutang, hahu si Tina Rihunrua, Ronolo Resinida, ne be atako violencia kontra demokrasia iha Myanmar o ho ema Rihuntolu, no dador hamutu krihun sanu Resinhitu, ne be inclui mos lider sira ne be manang elisaun hanesan premio Nobel da Paz dao aon suke. Povu Myanmar triste tamba komunidari internasional balu, ko alia kona ba prinsipio centralidade aziania, moi be ho ibundei tamba iha tempu hanesan sira fotulu mba rezimi militar, ni hu si kilat no empredimento komersial, ne be sira rasik fo impresta osa mba junta militar. Antes ne, onu rasik e zizi ba militar sira, atu liberta prisioneiru politiku hanesan lider eleitu, a un san su ki, no hakotu ona violencia ba ema nebe halo manifestasaun pacifico. Miamar hasoro krizi politika no humanidade hafoi militar halo golpe i a fevereiro tina rihun rua rua nolo resi ida. Benvinda Ximenez, Gemen.